Howdy, Tinker Nerds. This is my comment show for how to, how to, how to make a CZ. Raspberry Pi. How did that get there? Let's make a turret from a portal. Are you still there? The hope is that what we're making will give you a platform that should allow for functionality like that. Kind of just depends on how far you want to take it though. Speaking of portal, you guys should totally check out this portal putt-putt hole. Now that's something I would like to make. Can you make a tutorial that does not involve an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi? There were a couple of comments like this, and to be honest, it left me kind of confused because this project doesn't require a Raspberry Pi. It just requires a Linux machine and a USB webcam. Basically, it's really just a Python tutorial, and Python can run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So does this comment mean that you don't want any more programming tutorials, or you just don't like Raspberry Pis? All right, take this, put it here. Go here, download this. Go here and download this. Use this to copy this to this, and when it's done, remove this from this and put it in this. Wait, what? Since I've covered those instructions so many times before, I thought I'd just generalize them. But I think I generalized them too much, to the point where you could almost use them to explain how to make almost anything. Take this, put it here. Go here, download this. Then go here and download this. Use this to copy this to this, and when it's done, remove this from this and put it in this. Instructioning win. Too fast? Check the project page. Nah, I would just set the playback speed to 0.5. You know that's not a bad idea. <laughs> you can create app-specific passwords for two-factor authentication. I did kind of screw that up, didn't I? I'm really not sure why I didn't think of application specific passwords. I guess it just kind of slipped my mind. So what you can do instead of turning on insecure apps is just go over to this website and create an app specific password for your program. Then just use that in place of your password in your Python code. If you want to view or download this code, I've created a GitHub account where I'm going to start posting all of the code for my projects. Wouldn't it be unsafe to store your password in plain text? Yes, that's true too. So what you can do instead is use your operating system's password manager to securely store your passwords and then use Python to recall them. In Linux or on the Raspberry Pi, you'll have to install a password manager called Keyring and then you can store and insert your passwords in there. Then you can use Python to insert and retrieve passwords from the Keyring program. So this is how that Python code would look. Do you even Pi? Yes, as a matter of fact, I pied all over the back seat of a car last week. I heard that the Raspberry Pi 3 will come out tomorrow. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I just got one and it's going to be here next week. I am so ashamed of myself. Just to let you all know, next week's tutorial is going to be another coding tutorial, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently. I found from this week's tutorial that a lot of you guys find the coding tutorials very boring. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create the code and make it available for viewing and download. And then in the video, I'm just going to explain how it works, how to install it, and how to use it. So obviously, I want you guys to give me constructive feedback as to how you like that new format. All right, thank you all very much for all the comments, and I'll see you next week.